Hi, welcome to the Brief Book Reviews channel, otherwise known as An Old Guy Reviews, the book that he's read this week. So what's the old guy read this week? Well, the book I've read this week is this one. It's called The Woman on the Ledge by author Ruth Mancini. Uh, it was published as a hardback by Century here in the UK on the 4th of January, 2024. It's the fifth novel by Ruth Mancini, who is, uh, uh, as well as being an author, is a criminal defence lawyer. Uh, so I suppose the top level description of this book is a, a legal thriller. Uh, so what's it all about, I hear you say? Well, the central character is a lady called Tate, Tate Kinsella. That's Tate as in gallery, top G, not Kate. So Tate Kinsella. Tate is an aspiring actress. Um, unfortunately, her only major role so far has been in a carpet commercial. So she's temping. She's work, working as a, a temporary admin person. The, uh, the job she's got at the moment is working for a company called CPF, Credit Privé Francais who are a French bank, uh, and they are based in uh, some, several floors on a building called 225 East Cheap. 225 East Cheap has several tenants, uh, 25 floors, and takes their working, and it's basically an admin role, photocopying, writing letters, etc. Um, story kicks off with uh, a pre-Christmas party, it's early December, and uh, the top floor of uh, 225 East Cheap, that's, yeah, it's got a, a big bar, the, uh, the party's in full, full throw, and uh, Tate's line manager, Dan, and uh, his PA, Haley are, are doing a bit of karaoke. They're doing an Elton John, Elton John Kiki D song. And, and then the, the CEO, Jerry, gets up, and he's, uh, he's uh, decided he's going to do an Elvis number. At that point, Tate, Tate thinks, you know, time for a break. So she goes out, outside for a cigarette and a, and a bit of breath of fresh air, and she sees a woman on a ledge. Clearly, this woman is uh, you know, not quite uh, with it, and she's she's looking as though she may be about to jump off the ledge. So Tate manages to talk her down, and uh, eventually gets her into a taxi and gets her home. And the next day, woman a woman jumps off the ledge out of the same building, two two five East Street, and uh, as one can imagine, because of the previous night's activities, Tate is number one sus suspect and is indeed arrested for a murder. Uh, thus, the, the, the tale starts. Now, it's fair to say that Tate isn't the most uh, reliable witness, and her, she, she gets a solicitor appointed called Sarah. Her sister, who runs, a hotel, runs and owns a hotel, helps, helps her. And they're, they're both a bit worried because they, they don't think Tate is exactly a great witness and they're, they're worried about her story that it, it just doesn't add up in some parts so that's how the story kicks off we now go into a phase where th this is basically just just the start of the tale um, we then go into a period of nine months earlier and I, I would give too much away uh, if i if i then explain what happens next uh, all i can say is this is a very twisty turny lots of twists in this in this story uh, one of which you you won't you won't see coming um, it covers a modern day problem and it, it covers the subject of obsession revenge a mother trying to do the best for her daughter and it's a very well written twisty turny uh, drama uh, goes to some dark places um, but it's, it's very well written very well constructed um, as I said, if I, if I give too much uh, more away, it will ruin the book for anybody. Suffice to say, well-written legal drama. Uh, my, my one criticism, if you will, is that the, uh, the actual story is 402 pages. So it's a, it's a fairly chunky read. And the author being uh, you know, in the legal profession, I, I guess if you're a subject matter expert, you, you, you tend to, uh, you know, tend to want to, to show that and, uh, there are some sections in the book, and for instance, uh, witness statements are, are almost produced in full, and we have legal arguments that are somewhat drawn out. And I, I just felt with this book, it's it's well constructed, there's a good plot, there's believable characters. I just felt it's padded out too much. I, I, I wonder if the, the editor should have perhaps said, you know, great story, great plot. Uh, you know, let's take some of the, the padding out. You know, we don't always need the story. Sometimes the headlines will do. Um, that's my one minor criticism. 
but I enjoyed reading it. As I said, it's a very it's very dark in places, but it's very twisty and it's very well written. So I'd give it seven out of ten. It's a good read. I enjoyed reading it. Um, as I said, the only criticism I think is a bit too long. It should it's, it's been padded out a bit, but definitely worth a read. Um, that's it for this week's brief book review. 1010. Do we do it again? Thanks for watching.